as promised I'm going to be showing you steps on how to downgrade if you accidentally updated to the new 2.0 software on your iPhone and this is for iPhone only downgrade back to 1.1.4 this is the real way others have this way that they do it with the iPod touch but they don't realize the touch and the iPhone are two different things they have they're totally different and so I'm gonna show you the real way first what I want you to do I need you to download all the links that I'm gonna give you they're gonna be on the description menu just download each one and what I want you to do after that I want you to go to your iTunes well more to your control panel once you're in control panel let me show you you're gonna go start menu control panel once you're in control panel uninstall a program right here scroll down to iTunes and uninstall it make sure you uninstall it once you have it uninstalled there's gonna be a file that you've downloaded which is gonna look like this right here iTunes 7.5 setup set it up once you already have it set up um, I want you to go to your music folder right here before you open it iTunes and there's gonna be a file that says iTunes library I want you to name it exactly like this iTunes library dot one alright once that's named whatever it should say iTunes library if you're on Windows Vista is just gonna say iTunes library like this up here and if you're on Windows XP then it will say this right over here I'll show you oh, I don't know if you can see it but oh, here they come iTunes library dot ITU one you see this file right there um, just rename it one after right here just rename it once you did that if you're on XP you just put a one if you're on Vista again all you're gonna do is just it's gonna look iTunes library you're just gonna put dot one once you do that connect your iPhone mine is right there right there see it okay connect your iPhone and open up iTunes and my note up Right here, devices. See where it says devices? It's my phone. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna hold down shift, which is mine is right here. Don't know if you can see it, but you're gonna hold down shift and click restore. Well, let me be able to do this. Okay, once you do that. Um, remember one of the files that you downloaded it's gonna be let me find it let me find it real quick it's gonna be the restore to 1.1.4 and let me find it right here this is gonna be that iTunes 1.1.4 blah 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 restore gonna click on it let it restore it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna come back when it's done all right now well, it's completely restored right here you might get an error message saying 1015 that's fine there's no problem with that all right my pod, my phone right here you can see going it's going my computer just has to recognize it now get it okay excellent let it recognize 
as you see the sim card inserted in the phone does not appear to be supported so I'm gonna just exit off Oop, that's my message all right now there's a program called Z iPhone um I'll have it there to download but Z iPhone this is the file right here Z iPhone you're just gonna go over right here to the application and click on it now what I'm gonna do I'm going to press do it all and it should take a matter of maybe five minutes or so if it takes any longer stop it and redo it and right now it's going you see it's gonna go crazy and do all this crazy mess shouldn't know shouldn't take more than five minutes so once I'm done doing it I'll be right back all right now it's done it should be already there it should your screen should look like that congratulations blah 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 all right you just slide to unlock dismiss there right all right if you're an AT&T customer this is perfectly fine you don't have to go a step further this is you right here but if you have T-Mobile it's not gonna work still there's an extra few steps that you have to follow to get it to work so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exit that right there exit iTunes all this all right now there's gonna be a program called K iPhone it looks like that you're gonna unzip it whatever And you will run it. It's it's gonna be give me a second. Which the file would be that one. K iPhone application. This is right here. Allow it or whatever. Now, since you were from 2.0 to 1.1.4, what you're gonna have to do downgrade baseline debug and you're gonna start it this is gonna take a few minutes so bear with it and I'll come back to you once it's done well now it finished and now another step is gonna be to open up iTunes again which you know how iTunes looks like and go to iTunes it open let your phone come up this is mine all right and now what I want you to do I want you to do the restore once again so I'll show you one more time you're gonna hold down shift and you're gonna press restore okay now look for the file which is this one and do that all over again I'll come back to you when mine is done now it's finished now one last step and you're ready to go now all you're gonna do go back to Z iPhone open up the application again and you're gonna press do it all and I'll come back to you once mine is done well mine is done now and now since you are on T-Mobile, let me show you my phone. Right there, T-Mobile, oh, let's see. Right there, well, comment me, tell me what you think. And the extra steps are for T-Mobile users only. Let me know what you think.